Hi, this is Mato. In this video I will show you a very instructive chess game. This is the game between Stojko and Koval that was played in New Jersey in 1985. White started with d4. Black played knight to f6. c4, c5, d5. This looks like Benoni. But after b5 we have Benko Gambit. Pawn takes pawn. a6. Instead of taking pawn, White played a knight to c3, pawn takes pawn, e4. So bishop and the knight are attacking b5 pawn. b4 was played, knight to b5. In this position, black played d6. Let's go back. What are the other options? Taking pawn on e4 is not a very good idea. Let's see why. If knight takes, then queen to e2 attacking knight, and the after f5, we would have f3, and black is worse off in all variations. Let's check just one. Knight to f6, it is white to move. What would you play in this position? Would you play this? Knight to d6, checkmate. So taking pawn is not good. Another interesting continuation is queen to a5. Then we would have this continuation e5, attacking knight, knight to e4, bishop to c4, bishop to a6, pressure is on b5 knight, queen to d3, protecting knight, and also attacking black knight on e4. b3, this is check from queen, king to e2, bishop takes knight, bishop takes bishop, and this is now very interesting. Queen takes pawn. What else but to take? Pawn takes rook and there is no way to stop pawn from promoting. Queen takes knight. Black gets brand new queen. Knight to f3, developing knight and also protecting bishop on c1. Queen to a5, bringing queen back in the game and attacking bishop. Bishop to c4. And who is better? White or black? When I looked into the position, I thought that white was better because black is behind in development. But Fritz is evaluating that black is better. And I don't want to argue with Fritz. What do you think? Who is better, black or white? Okay, let's go back to our position. d6 was played. Knight to f3. Bishop to g4, pinning knight. h3 asking black to decide what to do with his bishop. He captured on f3, queen takes, and now knight from b to d7 is the best move. Black played g6, e5, attacking knight, but also this is sacrificing pawn. Black captured on e5, and when white pushed pawn to e5, he already knew his next move. Can you see white's move in this position? If you wish, you can pause this video and you can try to find the winning move for white. What is the winning move? d6. Queen is attacking rook and knight is coming to c7. At first it looks like that knight to a6 is solution, but it's not because knight to c7 check, knight takes knight, pawn takes knight, and queen can't take pawn because she must look after her rook. So queen to c8, bishop to b5 check, knight to d7, queen to d5. Black is losing in all variations. Let's just check one variation. e6 making room for king. Bishop takes on d7, king to e7, bishop to g5 check. f6, queen takes on e6 checkmate. What would you play in this position if you had black pieces? Well, it looks like that e4 is a solution. That was the move that black played. And it is a solution if now white moves queen, for example, to b3. Then pawn takes pawn and black is OK. But white didn't move his queen. He played knight to c7. King to d7 is the best move. 
and after queen to b3 black's position looks quite ugly but he is still alive in the game he would be still playing in the game black captured knight pawn takes queen pawn takes queen and white made the obvious move promoting pawn to knight just kidding he promoted pawn to queen and that is checkmate that was a very sharp game wasn't it and that is all i hope that you enjoyed watching this video i wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now